We got to talk about these artifacts before I go to bed. It is almost midnight. I'm ready to go to sleep so I can stream tomorrow so we can test everything out. But I do want to show you the brand new artifacts and how good these epic artifacts are. We have two new epic artifacts and then we've got 12 new legendary artifacts. I'm still disappointed just like season two. We don't have any new rare artifacts. I want to see them start to put in more rare artifacts at least one every season. I mean, come on, 12 legendaries, two epics. Can I get a rare or could I get more epic artifacts? That'd be really good for the majority of the player base out there that can't get a dupe legendary hero. Now, three of these are exclusive, so they're going to be really hard to get. The rest of these are normal artifacts. Some of them work off of the new mechanic we have. These two new epics are actually good. Last season's two epics weren't that great. Not as good as these are. So here we get a defense increase plus HP and we take 40% less damage when that damage would exceed 30% of our max HP. Vortex, right? That big lightning strike that the Vortex boss does. Poseidon, the big guy that we fight with the Trident. That one move that always hits the person with the highest max HP on our team then would be able to reduce that damage by 40%. That's always the first person, uh, well, not always the first person to die on my Vortex team. Sometimes it's a DPS, but a lot of times it could be this one. The one that's taking that big hit. Once you get up to so many stacks and the boss getting more and more damage, this hit really does a lot of damage. And if we can mitigate that by 40%, because it's going to hit hard, it's going to exceed 30%, 35% of our max HP pretty quickly. I think that's going to be an awesome artifact for that person. This one, where we get additional attack per every point of accuracy we have. I haven't been able to test this yet, but I like seeing attack. I like seeing accuracy. I think about Sigrid whenever I see something like this. Yeah, give me some Sigrid attack. Give me that accuracy so she can land her debuffs and then give me even more damage down here. But I don't know if I want to load up Sigrid with like 400 accuracy. Maybe, maybe the... Maybe it'll be worth it then for me to load her up with that much, but we don't need that much. Like the most accuracy we need most of the time is 300 at end game. And if we do that with a right side rune, and then we do that with some accuracy substats along with this 72 accuracy, and then a whole bunch of additional attack, maybe it'll be okay for her. But I do like seeing this. I like seeing all the additional attack with the accuracy because a lot of times we don't have anything in here for really good accuracy with attack it's always something like here we've got accuracy with defense here we have accuracy with hp i'm sure i'm missing some other ones around here but you get the point right we need more things that have like crit rate accuracy attack accuracy and i do enjoy this i'm sure i'm going to use it because i'm always looking for something that applies accuracy when i get further in the game when i go up against all those chief challenges and i'm making my teams I'm always looking for additional accuracy, and I don't always want to go and use something like the Incent Burner, although it's not bad. It takes anybody's 20-second ultimate to an 18-second ultimate, so it's really good in a lot of boss battles. That way you don't have to worry about skill haste. Okay, so those are the two epics. Let's go on to these legendaries. Here, we get attack percentage and flat attack. The wearer takes 15% less direct damage and converts 8% of damage dealt into their HP. So again, this could be really good on the Vortex boss. This could be really good for anybody. Taking the direct damage, mitigating that, and then getting our HP back by damage dealt. We got attack and attack percentage. I kind of like this. I don't know where I'm going to use it. I mean, on my main account, I don't have any way to get this yet. <laughs> I don't have a duplicate legendary yet on my main account, but maybe I'll pick some up when we do some summons for the beginning of Season 3. The Holy Acorn gives us enlightenment and HP, increase the healing effect granted by the wearer by 20%, and the wearer also gains 15 skill haste for each ally under 35% HP. I feel like we just, if you were able to finish the pillars last season, we've got enlightenment, we've got HP, we get 25% additional healing, and then we get a lot of resistance. I don't know, I wouldn't go after this one. The skill haste is nice, but I need all the guys to drop down below 35% on my team for me to get a decent skill haste. And even then, it's not like... It should be ultimate gauge increase, right? Right when they drop down below 35%, we get an ultimate gauge increase of 15%. 
then you jump up. Then you're ready to cast your skill. This just makes you faster. It makes your ultimate bar faster, but it doesn't like boost you up and have you cast your skill right away. Your ultimate. This I kind of like. I like this hook. We got an attack, attack percentage. We get 15% crit flat out. When not at full HP, the wear deals 15% additional damage. I think that's pretty strong. A lot of times my DPS is not going to be a full HP. And I'm going to do 15% additional damage. I get the 15 crit rate flat no matter what. And I get attack percentage and attack. I'll probably... We'll test this out. We'll test this on the test server quite a bit. Golden Antler, HP and resistance. Whenever we resist control or ultimate down, we get a heal. 10% of our max HP every three seconds. Doesn't sound that great. It would have to be an encounter to where you know you're going to be controlled all the time and tried to be ultimate down all the time and you have high resistance. It's got resistance here, but you're going to need higher than that. Is it worth a legendary artifact to get 10% of your max HP, even if you could do it every three seconds, which probably isn't likely that it's going to be every three seconds. It's somebody's really coming at you enough to control you and ultimate down you every three seconds. So I don't know if I'd go for this. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what we face in season three. But no, I wouldn't. There's too many, you know, with uh, witches remains the staff for Garius and all these other artifacts that you might not have yet. There's no way I would just go flat out and go after this legendary. Actually, there's no legendary that I would just go after and beeline for over Witch's Remains or the Staff Regarius once you have that or the Hourglass. Those are the first three I would always get. We have attack, attack percentage at the beginning of battle increases all allies damage by 15% for 20 seconds. I feel like this could be an epic. You could have gone the epic attack, epic attack percentage, 15% additional damage dealt for 20 seconds at the start of battle because nothing else, you know? That's it, baby. You get a little damage in the beginning, but nothing else for the remainder of the fight. I'm not really epic. This could have, this definitely give us more epics. We need more epics. Dreamland Globe gives us HP and HP. The wearer gains recovery over time for 10 seconds if their HP drops below 35%. You also take 20% less AoE damage. I like taking less AoE damage. I like getting recovery over time. That's not going to save you though. 35% HP, you get a recovery over time. Even on some serious tank, you're going to need some healing from your healer still. It's a little nice addition. So, I don't know. Epic? Give me some more epic artifacts, please. I don't know what it is. I just feel like these could be epics and you could give me the epic HP percentage and epic HP. We got attack and crit rate, which we don't see very often. Okay, this is for shadow heroes, which I already did a video on these shadow heroes. And this is going to give us an additional attack up for 10 seconds upon gaining shadow. And you gain shadow all the time. It's really nice to see crit rate and attack here. And then we're going to get an additional attack of 1500 of the shadow energy gained. Now, a lot of times shadow energy gained is like 10 or 20 or 30. So I'm not sure. I think this will be nice for those guys, right? You got to have the shadow guys and you got to have kind of a shadow team. You want other shadow people to play with shadows because they kind of help each other out to get their shadow gauge up so they can do their ultimate wings. When the wearer consumes or energy, the damage of this skill is additionally increased by 200% consumed up to 30%. Okay. This, so this is for, or this is for the new people. And this is going to be for corrosion, 35% additional corrosion, which we'll cover all this in videos tomorrow. And we'll cover first thing in the morning on stream on Twitch. And then I believe these are the exclusives. Not yet. Oh, this is blaze increase the additional damage dealt by blaze state by 50%. Oh, it is an exclusive. Okay. And then this one's the exclusive for the shadow guy that turns into a demon gains 35 crit rate resistance. Additionally increases the damage of his basic attack by 25%, which when he's in demon form, this basic attack is nuts crit rate and attack crit rate resistance. It's pretty unique. And this is an exclusive for Rook here. Father of Rats. Increases damage dealt to corrosion on the target by 50% when he casts a skill. We'll test these. I'm not sure about the exclusives. I really haven't gone deep into doing the aura stuff or doing corrosion yet. But we will test that tomorrow and I'll get videos out on all of this. 
Again, I didn't see any kind of legendary artifact that I thought was amazing. I think this one could be pretty good. I do like attack percentage attack with crit rate and then the additional damage if you're under 100%. This seemed okay as well, I guess. So you take less damage and you kind of heal back damage and you're, you got attack on there. I don't know. None of these really seem crazy amazing let me know down below which ones you think are good i think this one is great again for poseidon for that big hit that lightning strike down that's going to do massive amount of damage on whoever has your highest max hp i think this is going to be really good for that and we'll test this out again tomorrow all that tomorrow i want to go to bed now so please let me know down below what you think about all these new artifacts thanks again so much for watching appreciate your time please subscribe if you haven't and i will see you all in a video soon